guys, it's me, Sonia. I'm back with another process video for you. This is a Bible journaling um, video. video. And I am going, like I said in my last video, I am doing catch up. I do, I work at my own pace. Um, due to medical reasons, I've been, not been able to work on my, work on my Bible journaling and and putting up some videos and I'm working on that so um that's what it is today I am working on this um, um from creative retreat and I'm working on mirror mirror devotional by Haley I hope I'm saying this right Mullins I hope I was saying that right anyways that's the devotion I'm working on. I am going to keep it really simple. I am focusing on this. I want to use the stamp set so bad. So we'll see what that happens. If that happens. Um, I put out a washi tape from my stash. Like I said in my last video, I am trying to use up some of my stash. So in every video I make, or either barber journaling or scrapbooking, I am going to pull out some stuff from my stash and use it. These colors are gorgeous. I am going to be focusing on this light blue one right here. And um, also, I got some butterflies that I want to use that I cut out from, from a page. So I got those out, and I'm also going to be using the bow, this bow right here. I have some of this tape because I want to do a mirror and put this, um, this is the only thing I found that looks like, um, like mirror type, so we'll see how that goes. So let's just get started. I am going to do this with no voiceover, so um, feel free to um, fast forward to the parts if you want if you want to stick with me then you're welcome to so let's just get started okay now I am working on the book of 1 John and I'm focusing on verse number 9 where it says I believe over here it says it too right here um, 1 John 1 9 where it talks about confessing your sins. I'm just going to read the whole paragraph right here because this is the part that pulled me in more through the whole thing. And it says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Confirm the truth. Reveal in the mirror. Agree with what God's words tells us about ourselves. We surrender and cry out to God for help. I'm just going to keep reading a little bit more. We believe the gospel, that Jesus is our Savior, the final pa Passover lamb. Through his death and resurrection, he has given us everything we need for life and good lines. Linus. Um, that was in 2 Peter 1.3. Hearing his word without changing direction results in self-denial and deception. Listen and respond in acting his living out authentic faith. We celebrate God's gracious gifts of Jesus with joy for the privilege to obey. That's the path that becomes more like him, the fiercest one of all. No poison apple required. I just, that section right there I had to read it to you guys um if you guys have been following me for a little bit you know that I suffer from a chronic chronic disease which is called pancreatitis and every four months I have to get a stent removed and replaced and it's so much excruciating pain that I end up in the hospital for a whole week just to control the pain and I do this every month and I've been every four months and I've been doing that right now almost two years. And it keeps getting worse. Um, other than that, I suffer from severe depression. 
and um, I'm trying to um, cry out to my God and have him, well, have myself confess all my sins because I feel, I feel that I did something wrong and this is my punishment. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but this is what's going through my mind all the time. And I know it's not true. God doesn't punish us like that. God loves us. And I'm learning that right now, that He does love us. And that I should focus more on what He gave me than what He took from me. If I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm not saying the right words. Um, I am not a good talker of the Bible. I'm learning right now from it. So um, I apologize if I didn't ex express myself the right way. Anyways, back to the layout, to the page that I'm doing today. <laughs> All right, since there was butterflies in this stamp set right here, I am going to use the stencil in the background and just put some butterflies everywhere. And it's going to be blue because I want to I have I wanted to match this page over here on this side. I'm going to use this baby blue. And I'm also going to find where my um this is my um tool here to do stenciling. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's keeping safe. Um, this this um, epidemic has gotten everybody so scared, especially me. I I've been scared due because of my illness, and I know if I get this um, epidemic, I won't be able to survive. Well, and I shouldn't say that because. God's the only one that knows if I can survive or not. But I really don't need to add that to my list of diseases. My body has had enough. I weigh about 87 pounds. I'm on oxygen all day, every day, so I barely can leave my house. But you know what? I have faith in God. I know what He's doing. I trust Him. I know that all this situation will make me stronger. And I do see myself as a strong person. But I'm a sinner too. So I need to reflect on this mirror and think about how to change some things and change them for the better, change them for, you know, yeah, change them for better. That's what I wanted to say. I really love this stencil. I got this at the Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of theirs. And all these butterflies are going to be on this page. When I finish, um, I'm gonna reveal all these beautiful butterflies. Oh, I do have an announcement before I keep um, doing these butterflies. On Tuesday, I am going to do a co collaboration with Sherry from, um, oh, what, what's her, oh, what's the name of her website? I'll have to look it up, but I will put her link down below. She is my sister in Christ, and 
I love to do collaborations with her. I haven't done any any lately with her and I missed it. So I talked to her, I saw one of her videos and she is wholeheartedly, that's the name of the website. She is very good when she expresses herself with the Bible. She is amazing with that. You guys should check her out, give her some love. But check us out on Tuesday. We are going to be doing her her series that she calls um she what does she calls it? Um she calls it Try It Tuesday. Yeah. So I'm gonna be joining her on her Try It Tuesday. And I am so excited. I just can't wait. You guys need to check out this. It's going to be beautiful. Both of our, we're both using the same verse. And we're doing um, some mixed media. So check us out that day. On Tuesday. This Tuesday the 18th. Okay. Let's see here. I don't want... Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one right here. This mirror. And I'm going to mount it on my Misty. Oh, there it is. I'm going to put it on my Misty. Gonna get a piece of paper. Um, I'm gonna get some hard stock. Give me one second. Here, and I'm gonna cut a piece just so you, you do my mirror. on my Misty. I am going to use this black ink from um, Close to My Heart. It's instant black. Well, okay. That happens when your your um, stamp is new. And Yeah, when well your stamp is new. So to do that, you just take an eraser and add it to it. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. See? Now I'm going to ink it up. Hopefully I get all the cribs and crannies. It is perfect. And I am going to find something to wipe this. I can't find my my thing. Oops, I can wipe it with this. Don't even think that comes off. Okay then. We are going to put this back. Gonna take this off the misty. The misty away. Okay, I'm gonna fussy cut it out, and I'm also gonna cut out the center, just because I want the mirror to have that silver stuff on it. I'm 
when you're fussy cut cutting, make sure you move your move your, the piece that you're cutting and not the scissors. Because that could be very uncomfortable and hurt hurt your hands and I got bad carpet tunnel and it also Now, the reason why I use tape is because I know that nothing else is going to stick to it. There you go, there's my mirror. I'm also going to use this this stamp. I'm going to do um, black. There's my cute cutie boy. I'm gonna place this underneath. Like that. Then my mirror goes here. My 3D butterflies. Like the mirror says, um, my thing is going to be, uh, let me see. I think I'm going to put something like this. I'm going to put Father, you are Father.
father. Father, speak to my heart. Speak to to my heart. As I cry out for giggles. Beauty within beauty beauty within within I'll have to finish the mirror later. I'll have to type out the words that I want. I like that. I'm gonna pop up this mirror. Okay, let's glue that down.
Okay. I think that's it. Oh, I'm missing. I'll have to finish this off camera because I have to type it on my computer and cut it out and paste it there. You'll see it on the on the still shots. You'll see that. Um, I just gotta underline my verse, put the date, and I should be done. I covered it. Everything's glued down. Just need a tab. date There you go. There's my page. There it is.
Okay, guys, that's the page. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the process. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the bell button. That will give you notifications of when my videos come up. And I will see you in my next process video. God bless and have a great day. Hi guys, this is the still shots and I also want to mention that some of these pictures show all the um, pages that I did from this devotional. Thank you for watching.